Hey guys, this is Paul from Gamers Anonymous and Geek Culture. Uh, we're gonna do a little playthrough of Sheltered. I uh, I just got this game yesterday. Um, I saw it on Steam, and then I saw that it was on all the consoles, so I ended up picking it up for PlayStation 4. Um, I played a little bit yesterday. I don't know why it says I have 23 hours, because I just got it yesterday, and I definitely did not play it for 23 hours. I played it for maybe an hour. <laughs> so, we're going to start a whole new game. I'm going to do, like, a random family. Basically, the premise of the game is you create, like, a... Shelter in the apocalypse. Uh, you're a family, which is kind of interesting. So you got two parents and two kids. So I'll do like a random family here. Uh, we're not gonna start off with David. We're just gonna randomize him. So we got Deborah. She's troubled. Great. Intelligence one. Strength of ten. That's always good though. Um. There are certain weapons you can only wield with your strength at 10, so that's cool. We'll keep her, and then we will randomize again. We got Francis, well-educated. So we got a, uh, the parents are a two women, so we're a little progressive here. Um, that's cool. I like it. And they're like complete opposites. So we got Catherine. She's hyper. Her dex is seven, though. That's cool. Uh, she's courageous and hyper. And Mark, who's courageous and a smarty pants. Also good. Yeah, so we got a, like kind of between intelligence and strength is kind of covered. Um. Yeah, we should be a nice, smart family here. Let's go. Our pet. Anything, I will take anything but the fish. So, as long as it's not the fish. There's a fish. There's a dog, a horse, a snake, a cat, and a fish. We got Weber. It's a snake. Oh. The Weber family. Sorry. Pet's name is Hunter. That's a good name for a snake. All right. Nope, I already did that. So basically, you're just trying to survive. You can pick up more people. Um, you start off with just a very basic uh, shelter. Um, let's get the journal thing out of the way. Day one, we made it! We're few, but together we are strong. Our family lineup is Deborah, Francis, Catherine, and Mark, and our pet snake, Hunter. I can't believe we found this place. It's a bit rough around the edges, but it will provide good protection from the elements. Hopefully no one finds us down here. We just want some peace. Well, hopefully somebody decent finds us down here. So important stuff to do is start doing uh, expeditions right away. I figured that out when I just kind of totally ran out of shit to do. Um, Let's send out the intelligent ones. Usually you don't get a... a well, I didn't get attacked at all yet, so... I don't think I have to worry about that early game. Uh, perception 4. Yeah, let's send Mark. So then you can go scout out areas. Let's get the f farm. Yeah, let's do the farm and the house. Hopefully we find something good. Things that are really important are food, of course, and uh, rope. Rope seems really important and I never find it. So, uh, they need gas masks. Everybody always needs gas masks. Uh, do I have the bag? No, I don't have the bag yet. Oh. I could really use a bag. 
bags help you carry more stuff. You get different bags depending on what level your uh, your crafting table or whatever is. First bag gives you two extra slots for whenever you go out on an expedition, which is always helpful. Uh, so she's good with that. Mark will be good with a gas mask, and everybody should be fine here. Yes. All right. Now you two get to work. I don't have time for you to be standing around. All right. So you go to the craft table and you can craft items, important things that everybody needs, something to sleep in, a shower, the bucket toilet, which is especially hilarious in this game because they just kind of huddle over it like they're losing their mind. Uh, so, but I should make a bag. Let's make a bag. You. Go add fuel to the generator. So you got a generator. Apparently this is our snake. I can release the snake and he keeps rats out. Um... I don't know if that means he feeds when he does that. Uh, water butt. My little box of storage. Tiny pantry. Looks like a shelf to me. Medicine cabinet. Which I have anti-radiation and bandages. Uh, so, whenever they go out on a mission, they call you on the radio and you have to answer it. If you don't, you miss it and they will not pick up anything at the place that you sent them to, which is a huge waste. I did that last time. I sent them to a farm and I was like, oh, maybe I'll find rope at this farm. And then I totally missed it. And they didn't bring back anything. So, I'm going to tell them to search the location. And they'll call back when they find something. All right, so Catherine, get back to working. Craft a room. Yeah, craft a room. I'm gonna need a place for them to crap and shower and stuff. Deborah, make a sleeping bag. Oh no. The snake takes up room. Francis, to base, we found something at this small farm. Are you interested? Yeah, what'd you find? Uh, great. Gas is good. Food. You went to a farm and you found one ration of food? Wood. Water. All these are pretty useful, I guess. I don't know why I didn't just hit square. All right, Deborah, make that sleeping bag. God dang it! I'm trying to get a hold of me again. Right there. All right. Jeez, I'm not used to wearing a headset. Uh, hello, Francis here. We've stumbled across a small house, and it looks like it might have some good loot. Want us to take a look? Yes. Yeah, this being here is kind of a problem. I usually would want to put that uh, another sleeping bag right here. Because there's no room. And But anyways, Catherine's going to need to sleep. Francis the base. There's somebody in this small house. Oh, that looks good. That's good. It looks like they want to talk. What should we do? Well, get involved. Let's talk to them. This should go well. This might be a short playthrough. Well, hello, another one out. Another one out here risking the dust and disease. I love how we're all like ready to fight. I confirm that. Not like I have a choice. We've all had rough days since, well, you know. So I feel, so I feel for you, pal. Any of this help you out? Uh, well, I'm glad they came in now. Yeah. I'm not sure 
how much uh, food I have in the pantry right now. I might take, probably gonna take that food. I don't need the wood. I don't think I need the charcoal yet. What's the food worth? Food's worth 10? Oh. Oh. Um, well. Let's offer the gas then and take the charcoal. And the food. And the wood. I got a lot of gas right now, so. And with that charcoal, that kind of takes the place of gas. But I want that food. Well, you certainly got a great deal on those items. Let's hope you've left me with enough to keep going. Well, you don't have any food, so. Yeah! Charisma 3. Francis Base, we found something in this small house. Are you interested? So, there was someone in the house, and we traded with them, and now we're going to take their stuff. <laughs> I guess that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah! More food! More gas! This makes up for everything. Sand, which is for some reason really hard to find. Three cement! Sweet! I can add another room. Uh, Deborah, what are you doing? Can you make anything useful yet? No. See, I really need this. The snare trap. Whatever you can do to get more food. That is what you need to do. Uh, so, isn't really anything I can make at the moment that I really need. So I might just have her uh, work on something. Might need her to fix that water filter before it gets out of hand. So, put on your radiation suit, you're going outside. Um, Francis here, it looks like there's a lumber yard over there, but it's a bit out of our way. Want us to take some time to investigate. Lumber yard? How are we doing on everything? We got 30 water. I mean, might as well. While you're out there, and you're feeling like you want to. Nope. Fix it. What does it take to upgrade this? Five transistors. That's not too bad. I mean, I don't have any of that yet, but uh, in my earlier playthrough, I did have all that stuff, so. Finish up and go to sleep. We are definitely going to need another room for a sleeping bag. What do I need for this? Yeah, see, this isn't too bad. I've already got everything I need for it. Nice. Takes forever to upgrade, though. <clears throat> Come on! Catherine, hurry up! Francis, it looks like the lumber yard, blah, 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 blah. the lumber yard has some stuff that might be useful. What do you think? Ooh, it does. I think I need more room. A sander. I don't know how to use that. Tool uses smooth wood down, increases repairing and crafting speed. But all right. Well, if I can take it, I will take it. Take that whole stack. A hatchet. Well, we taking that. Some more nails. A log. Uh, could be recycled into a small amount of wood. Nah. Um. See now, like uh, with the recycling, there's I have to upgrade to the next workbench to get the recycle recycling thing and then I also have to build it so we're probably not gonna take that mannequin head 
Uh, nylon is pretty useful. I don't know if I need a bucket. Uh, so, sander or light bulb? Let's take the sander, just in case. We'll see what it does. Now, would you guys just come home already? And you go to freaking sleep. It's past your bedtime. It's almost midnight. Gosh. This always takes forever. But you can speed up time. Speeding up time. All right. All right, so I apparently don't have room for the water. Well, that's okay. Uh, and then don't hit circle and exit, because then you lose everything. Confirm. I did that last time, too. That was when I stopped playing. I was like, oh, okay, well... Whoops. All right, what are you two doing? Francis. You don't need anything? Okay, good. Well, craft... A bucket toilet. Let's get that done. We need that. We need a bucket toilet. You hungry? Go freaking eat something. Like we don't have food. Gosh, just stand there. And then I can automate them. So that's what that means. Boop, 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 boop. Automated. I usually just, I usually automate the kids because they're less than useful than the adults, I guess. So now we got a bucket toilet. And, uh, craft a shower. Put that all the way back here. Mark, I need you to craft a mop bucket. Put that right next to this. Maybe I can fit another, probably not. Uh, who's coming in? Somebody's coming in. It's Betty! My dog's name is Betty. Hey, you seem to be doing all right for yourself. You've probably got a huge store room full of supplies. Not exactly. I've got a little box full of supplies. I'm sure we can strike a trade, but I ain't letting you have any of my stuff cheap. Oh. Okay. Well, let's see what you got. Hmm. Hmm. What have I got? I've got sand. I need limestone. Why is limestone worth three? S cement is worth two. I should just take the cement. Cement is what I need to make rooms. Ooh, what is this up here? Antibiotics. Oh, it's worth 30. Uh, well, I've got some gas. How much gas? Do I have enough gas? I've got a lot of gas. And gas is worth 30. Okay. Well, we can trade some gas for antibiotics. Uh, in my first playthrough, I had a... Uh, one of my... One of the kids got food poisoning. Ah, she was worthless. Freaking kids. So let's take two. I don't need to risk that. You can have some gas. I want your cement. I think I only need two to make a room. I'm not sure. 
but we'll start with that. And that's worth two, right? Okay. Uh, so I will give them some rubber. And I think we are even Stevens here. Squaresies. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Got some good stuff. Uh, so... Oops. Catherine, I'm going to need you to wake up. So that... Deborah can get some sleep. Well, oh, okay, so here we go. She's pooping or peeing or something, but she looks like she's like rocking in the corner. Like, oh, it's all so awful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Deborah, just freaking go to sleep. Don't piss the uh, sleeping bag. Uh, day two. I was wondering where these guys get all their trade goods from, and it turns out they just pick them all up from houses and buildings. People just leave stuff laying around, it seems. Yeah. Uh, they tend to do that when they die or have to run. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna get somebody started on building... A you should take a shower. Catherine, take a freaking shower, you stinky Mark, Mark, you're gonna have to build the room. You're the only one who doesn't need a nap. Francis, can we put that sleeping bag right here? No. Can we put it anywhere? No. No! People need to sleep! That's not good. Okay, Francis. Well, in the meantime, can you make... Can you make... Can you upgrade? No. Because she's going to need to fall asleep. But she does need water. Can we automate you? You can get your own freaking water. Alright, so... We're making a little bit of progress. Um, this is going to be the end of the first episode. So... Uh, Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see how this. If you if you want if you like this and you want to see how it keeps going, uh, it's probably going to be a weekly or bi-weekly thing. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time on Sheltered. I'm Paul, and this has been Gamers Anonymous. Gamers Anonymous on Geek Culture.